Hey, Storytime grown-ups, Miss Lisa here with some really quick ideas for ideas you can do all about our farm theme week. All right, the first one is that you can work on measuring vegetables. So um, if you get out like your celery stalks or if you get some big carrots and some baby carrots, um, before you go ahead and wash them and get them ready to eat, maybe you can let your little one try to measure them. Now you can use a ruler or if you have some stackable things like these, you can just click a bunch together and see how tall your vegetables are. If you have a balance, it's also really fun to see which ones are heavier versus which ones are lighter. Um, and then if you have one that's working on their writing skills, you can have them document that means write down all of the measurements for their different vegetables um, because farms grow food, don't they? All right, so growing, uh, talking about how big vegetables can get, you can even talk about farm competitions and go real big with that idea. The next idea is to grow something. If you are able to grow anything, even if you're just you know planting a bean in a paper towel, in a baggie, you know, try to grow something together, maybe an herb garden, something small, um, or go real big with it. But I always love to see kids when something they've planted start to grow. It's so exciting for them. If you have space, uh, putting some like organic baby potatoes in the ground to see what happens is super fun to do too. My kids love that. They call it potato treasure hunts. All right. The next idea is to build a farm so you can make it out of blocks, duplos, whatever you have at home, or you can go ahead and do it with Play-Doh and Popsicle sticks. You can use the Popsicle sticks for the fencing. I forgot to get one little thing out. I meant to get out was my play animals, but you can use Popsicle sticks for the fencing and you can play with the animals in it if you have them. If you don't, you can use Popsicle sticks as legs for your animals and build some Play-Doh animals to go in your Play-Doh farm. Um, the next idea is to try to visit a farm. There are, we're lucky to have some working farms in our area that encourage people to come and visit. If you want to make it a little bit bigger of an experience, there are some farms that you can camp at and you could camp overnight on a farm. The farm that we like to camp at raises cows. So my kids get to go see all the cows and they love that part. All right. The next idea I had is to make a cotton ball sheep. So if you take just a plate and glue some cotton balls on it, and then you can give it a head and some legs and a tail, it'll be so cute. All right, or you can do a big piece of paper and have every cotton ball be a sheep and then add, you know, legs and a barn and all that stuff. It'll be super fun. All right, anytime we're working with things like that where we're using these muscles, we are building our writing muscles. So even though it seems like play, it is work, and even when we're planting those seeds, guess what we have to do? We have to get our pincer grip going. I know. All right, the last idea I had is a farm dramatic play. So dramatic play just means that you are setting up and pretending to be something. So a lot of our kids like to dramatic play kitchen or restaurant um, or grocery store is a fun one too, but playing farm is lots of fun. If you have any like stuffed animals they can use as their stuffed animals or if you um, have like garden toys that they can play with um i love setting up a, a dramatic play farm it is it is a fun time um i also really like to encourage with farm dramatic play that farming isn't just about animals and it's not just about big spaces if you listen to our story time we talked about um, a lot of different options for people who aren't on a big plot of land um, and then if you wanted to, I made these a while ago. You'll probably see them back again in a couple weeks for our bunnies and chicks week. Um, I can't find one that has both its waddle and its beak because they have a rough life here at the library. But I made these little chickies out of uh, just paper plates that we folded over. And they have little nests that I made out of um, coffee filters. And I use plastic eggs and my kids like to play chicken keeper. So that is an option that you could do as well. It does take a little bit more prep. And you know, I am not about that prep. So if you don't want to do the prep, you can do something easier that you have at your house. I hope that gives you some fun ideas. And I know it's a quick video today. I was trying to keep it a little bit short, make it easier for everybody. Have a great one. We'll talk to you soon.